Welcome to Crestron Auto Update. So, what is Auto Update? Auto Update was designed to help you automate and schedule the firmware update process on Crestron products. It allows multiple supported Crestron devices across an enterprise to be configured and updated from a central on-premise repository. This can be incredibly helpful when you are using it for system-wide rollouts, security updates, firmware updates, and even debugging. In addition, it also helps with organizing devices into a site structure. Auto Update is a function that allows for automatic or planned updating of many Crestron products. With a growing list of supported products, Auto Update is a great way to standardize updating across your system. When choosing an update method for your product, you have a variety of different methods you can choose from. Many Crestron devices support auto update using console commands. In fact, these console commands are what make the actual update happen. You can put the commands in manually, but this is not how it was designed to be used. And there is a much easier way. It is recommended that you are using a PC running Windows 10. This does not mean that you cannot use older versions of Windows, but many free SFTP applications are only compatible with Windows 10. You will need to be running the latest version of Crestron Toolbox as well. Though Toolbox is not directly used with Auto Update, and you do not need it open, Auto Update uses the same communication server as Crestron Toolbox. Since you will be loading firmware files to multiple devices, you will need a repository to hold those files. You can use an SFTP server or a Crestron control system. If you decide to use a control system, you must use removable media to store your files. Storing firmware files on the processor's internal memory is not supported. In addition, you will also need the archived, compiled packages of the solution devices. This is because you will need the hash file that is generated when the program is compiled. When planning updates, it is important to pick an acceptable update time. You would never run updates during business hours, as devices will take time to update and will be offline during their update. You must also determine if you are updating the same control system running your auto update. If you are using a control processor to update other devices, that processor must be updated first or last, as it is facilitating the update of the other devices. In addition, you may also force an immediate update, though this is only generally used when commissioning a system. Thank you for watching.